Hey, it's Pete's Dude Man. We're on the last uh, video for this recording session, and actually, after this, recording sessions probably for this game probably aren't going to be as frequent, because we got other games we need to do, and I really need to edit these. Like I said, all these videos, these 68 now episodes of Mario Odyssey have all been done in the course of one week, and I, I really need to, like, start editing these. Um, and... <laughs> oh... Hey, I found something right off the bat. That's cool. Um, so yeah, there's just a, there's that. Um, ooga booga booga. Um, so he said we're probably just only gonna play this game like once or twice a week now. I mean, unless like I really get caught up on editing. Wow. So if you found that at the beginning of the game, could you just like get a glimpse at Bowser's castle right from the beginning maybe that's why people were spoiling it so soon because they thought everybody found this maybe that's it hmm. I don't know I said I don't remember how much of this was accessible before you know what I mean but cool I'm glad we found that I don't know if there's more than one painting per level or if there's I mean I guess there is it possible we missed a painting in the cap kingdom I don't know. So one thing I wanted to mention though about this hat, it's really creepy because it's just a skull and then Cappy's eyes just go where the skull's eyes That's are. That's really disturbing. I know, right? Wait, I wanna make I wanna make it happen. Uh -huh. uh, isn't that creepy? Uh, Let like me just put my thing. eyes where the sockets of an, another creature's eyes used to be. I'm sure that's... Okay, there's gotta be new stuff. I don't think there was a scarecrow here before. There's just got to be new stuff when you come back. Excuse me. You are excused. I'm very burpy right now. Well, we just ate. Mm -hmm. I like food. Uh oh, treasure chest. I'm glad I decided to almost do something stupid. Food, 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 food. You got a moon. I have got a lot. I think this might be the stupidest costume. The caveman outfit? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't It'd be like cooler it. if there wasn't the hair. The hair kind of ruins the design of it. <laughs> well, if I remember correctly, most of these costumes are based off of an, uh, uh, like an older piece of official Mario art. So there's oh, probably really? some older piece of like, just look up caveman Mario or something. You'll probably find an older piece of like art where he where he dresses like this. Is there a way for me to dress around here? I don't see a way. Otherwise, I would just change right now. There's no dressing room. You have to actually I, out in the open. If you know, if you'd actually looked that up, I'd be really curious to f find out the source material for Caveman Mario. Okay, give me a second, because I'm trying to make a portfolio website right now. Oh, oh okay, sorry. That's alright. Did the avatar drawing they do... Is that is that good enough for my portfolio website? The avatar drawing... Yeah, the self-portrait I recently did. Of yourself? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Because, I mean, this is... I'm hoping to have it show not just my professional work, but also my, um... side work as well. You right, know? yeah. And I think if I'm going to be... Is there a special you know, way to advertising break myself this thing? as an artist, I might as well have a drawing of myself, right? Hey, chomp! Eat this! Uh, instead, I just put it in a really dangerous spot. Alright. Ow. That was bad. That didn't work very well. Okay. Escape into the pipe. So... Hey, another moon. Man, there are just moons everywhere. It, like I said, it really makes me wonder... Did I... <coughs> did I just miss all these? <laughs> or, right um... Oh, yeah. Did I just this miss all these, the or, or like, oh, did you find a caveman Mario? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, none of those look no. official. That was like even an unofficial naked Mario. Okay, go back to where to where to know your meme. They might have more historical information on it. Right? No, if you just press back, it was like the first search result. Oh. Okay, there's Super way Mario. there's way too much stuff here for me to have just missed it my first time. I 
Yeah, this doesn't. It doesn't have anything. No. So maybe that was just made up it's to fit this world. It's just shit posting. Okay. Never mind. Jesus, this is scary. Holy craps, these guys are gonna fuck me up. There's so many of them. Rosie, help. They're so cute. I'm being overwhelmed by little porcupines. I'll, I'll kiss you and you'll feel better. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> T-Rex, Oh, thank eat them. God. Come here and let me destroy everything with your body. That's dirty. I want to hug that T-Rex. If I found a baby T-Rex, I'd be the happiest woman in the world. Did you see me wreck all that shit? Yes, I'm watching it right now. Did you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. You know, I had a little, like, robotic T-Rex toy when I was a kid. Yeah? And I would carry it everywhere with me. Hey, there's stuff like down there, too. Like a teddy bear. And, like, it was really funny because it was so, like, pseudo-realistic looking that I actually scared some people at farmer's markets and stuff when I carried it around. Really? Because people thought I was carrying out a real fucking T-Rex, baby. Really? They really thought that, huh? Well, they seem very scared and they seem shocked. They're like, oh my god, I thought that was real. How old were you? Uh... Like, uh, between 8 and 10. Okay. I was a bit too old to be carrying toys around, I know. What? That's not what I was trying to imply. <laughs> I'm curious about this. I guess that was nothing. What I should do... First I'll release so that I get like a full timer on it. And then it looks like there is stuff down here. Yeah. How would I normally get down here? What? Mario, turn around please. I wish I could run as this T-Rex. It's pretty slow. I guess I found the moon in here. But the big question is, does this place have a second moon? Because a lot of these types of areas have had two moons. But I, I've pretty much smashed everything here. Hmm. Well, now all my friends are playing Odyssey. I mean, it's kind of weird. I mean, for me it's 10.30, and I'm in a pretty early time zone. We're like in the Pacific time zone. So, I mean, they've got to be way later than that. I guess that's just the time that they have that can do it. I mean, not everyone has the same schedule we do, my love. I know, a lot of them have um, really late schedules, I know, already. Because, yeah. I mean, you and I, we work like your typical 9 to 5 Yeah, we do. Jobs. Mine's a little bit weirder than yours, because I work from like 8.30 to 5.30. But still, it's within that time range. Yeah, it's still, you know, your typical work day for the quote unquote average American so like our work schedule there's I mean, talk our, to. our overall all schedule I mean us playing at this time makes sense but I mean most of the people we're peers with mm. are still you know like young adults that are working either part time or like swing shift type jobs just to make ends meet you know mm -hmm. so yeah, they're going to have weirder schedules than this. Uh, I don't know how someone could do swing or graveyard shift. That's fucking insane stuff, you know? Yeah, that's just how it is for some people. Yeah. I feel like I already did a lot here with the T-Rex. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Looks like I didn't go this way, though. Even if I could have. I don't know. We actually have a lot of guys... At my workplace, that do swing shift, like really? between editorial and um, oh, our press. 
I was thinking maybe operator. that was something I could spin my hat on. It kind of looks oh, like yeah. it. It still looks significant in some way. Because, like, I can grab onto it and it just kind of stands out. I don't know. God, that balloon's getting ridiculous. Oh. It's going to get even bigger, hon. I don't even okay. have... Well, I don't know how many... Because, well, we know you can buy moons. So doesn't that mean you can make it infinitely bigger? Hey, this is another one of their old ships. It's just buried. You can have 800 plus moons, I think. Right. So, almost a thousand moons. That almost... That grass down there almost has me believing I can go down there. I don't know how to accomplish that without dying. Hmm. Where's that tesseract anyway? I don't know. Maybe Loki stole it. Because this kingdom doesn't feel very big. It feels like I've already explored lots of parts of it. Oh, what's 8-Bit Caveman Mario going to look like? That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. It looks like something that could be like its own game, you know what I mean? It kind of looks like Bob from Bob's Burgers if he was stranded in, like, a lost world and had to be a caveman. Linda. Linda, I told you this would happen. Oh, this was the thing I wanted to check out earlier that I never went back to. What happens if I go this way? Ah! That was the exact thing. I talked about it like in one of my earlier episodes. I was like, I thought I some saw something that I could have done as 8-Bit Mario and just didn't try. That was the thing I was referring to. Finally got back to it after all this time. Alright. I want to see an episode of Bob's Burgers. Wait, oh, oh, now. it's Peach. I was like, wait, is that Tiara? Oh, it's like, of course no. it is. It's Peach. Oh. Hey, you're an explorer. Do you like my caveman? Be careful you don't get so entranced by the big waterfall that you fall. I thought you'd like a rougher man. I used to come here to play a lot when I was little. A power moon fell over the waterfall, but don't worry, it seems fine. Man, she and the TR are so dating. <laughs> They're dating. They're so dating. I'm trying to think of it, I'd like to see those big ruins in the desert again. Okay, so now she's going to uh, the desert. So yeah, we do just find Peach in every place. That's pretty cool. Whoops. Ugh. I, how am I gonna... There we go. Oh, it's just a shortcut back to here. My, I didn't realize. I thought she said something about a moon around here. I don't know. Whatevs. Well, this episode, we only got a couple minutes left. Are you planning on going to bed anytime soon, hon? Oh, should I should. I'm not that tired, though. Right, because, I mean, if you're not, then I'm going to just break the whatever I said at the beginning of this video right away and just keep playing. I don't really have much of work tomorrow. I don't have to be at work until 9.30. I guess the bigger concern for me is just not doing too many videos because, like, of, of the computer space. <laughs> Oh man, I fell. Now I know there's a shortcut back up there. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I guess that is what I wanted to do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed these purple coins. You know, I, I, I was thinking about it. Cause another thing Chris and I were talking about was like how in Super Mario 64, a lot of the stars were really cryptic. Like, it was just like, how would you find that out? And I was thinking about some of the ones we were talking about, like specifically like in uh, Womp's Fortress, where like one of the ones you have to get is just that like one of the ones you have to get there is you use the cannon to like shoot yourself at a random inconspicuous wall and it destroys that wall or like the corner of that wall. And then you get um, a star out of it. And it's just like, well, how would you, how on earth would you figure that out? How on earth would you figure that out? Oh, gosh, how on earth do I get up there? That's my question right now. Maybe with the Tesseract? Um, well, and it turned out, um, well, I started thinking about it. It's like, how did I find that star when I was a kid? And I realized it was just accidental. I was just a kid, you know, fucking around in the 
big Super Mario 64 worlds just doing whatever I could. Randomly shot myself at a wall with a cannon and a star popped out. I was like, oh, that's cool. And that was it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it was just from exploring and accidents like how I just found those purple coins. Boy, there's still a lot to do here. So, I'll see you guys next time for whenever I do play next, whether it's right away or far in the future. See you then. Bye-bye.